Well, hello everyone, my name is Sugar Andy, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Let's go, shan't we? Trial verdict. I'm not sure what verdict means, but I would assume it's like a ending to the trial because we just went through the trial and we didn't want to go for the last of the text. Laugh at death and your soul will forever be at peace. Why? My brother! I don't know what voice to do for him when he's shocked or something, I'm sorry, it's just I'm used to screaming everything he says. Another murder and another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. So it makes sense I'm screaming everything. Dude. I mean, I get he's sad, but Jesus fucking Christ, okay? A stack of sad screams invaded our schools. We were each forced to realize once again. But he? Of course he had to. <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game. Byakuya? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead. Do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is life or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except that. However. I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night when the murder took place, I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So ignore the nightmare rule too. <laughs> that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. <laughs> the night grew late and I decided to return to my room. Which is when I stumbled upon him. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. You mean you actually witnessed the murder? <laughs> he was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. Well, so you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But if that had been the end of it, how boring would it have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would live up the thing. <laughs> I, I can't. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Living things up. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create the fake murder scene? But, but damn, man. If we hadn't figured out who had really done it, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> Well, obviously it would have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Of course. Beaka turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did, and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> interesting. Once I do decide to become the blackened, I now know how I'll have who I'll have to watch out for. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, well, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to, I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm up next. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? <laughs> Boo do you like them? <laughs> why did I do that voice? I keep on changing his voice, like, what do I do for him? I can't copy his original voice, I suck, guys. But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. <laughs> oh, this punishment, oh, this despair is my gift to mankind what? itself. You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? 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 Yeah. Mean. Mean, 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 Good grief, I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Hmm, whatever, it doesn't matter. 
In the end, I'm going to send alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ah, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. Boohoohoo, I think this is the start of a terrifying friendship. Shut up, I will never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you, understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Tagami family, for which victory I foregone conclusion is a foregone conclusion. Okay. You're getting all riled up. Ooh, so cool. It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. Woohoo, <laughs> temper temper, sounds like someone needs a nap. I'm glad I don't need to do this. <laughs> um, Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the, and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. Oh no. The killing game would still continue because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our wars, fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. Nah. Not yet. Okay, how is he doing this thing when he doesn't have any fingers? Explain. This is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to... There's one thing I'd like to ask as you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away! <laughs> Who is it? The 16 high school student, I mean. My, my. You really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. This person should probably and tell us what he said because this seems important. That, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. <laughs> Boy's life of despair. The end. Okay. And the number is dropping further. To be continued. Well, I like how I started off this episode with the ending of a chapter. You received a crazy diamond present. Oh, it's like his coat. Alright. Cool. Anyways. <laughs> Aww, it's Asahina. I shouldn't cry. Censored. I know he way she said that. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon. It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might be Voice is a little more normal than what I do. It's kinda cute actually. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That would cheer me up. Jesus Christ, her room is a mess. Okay. It's cool that they gave her all these things, like, because she's the swimmer. Oh, God of Donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. 
But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Grr, grr. Huh? Huh? What's that sound? It's a little disturbing. Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Th that sounds really, really disturbing. Do you, do you want to go? I'm pretty sure you don't want to go. This doesn't sound good. Uh, it's like a horror movie character, basically. Is uh, someone there? <gasps> I I don't understand. L look at him. I didn't read the name. Oops. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall just like always, and I expected it to start like a day, like any other day. That's what I expected, but... Today's count kinda sucks, huh? Bia Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh, That is rather unusual for her. Normally she's so full of energy. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us, Ben? It looks that way. How about that? It sounds like this, where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Oh, him. Impossible. Or not? Taka hasn't said words since everything that happened yesterday. Just look at his face. Do you expect him to say anything? One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It was because of Mondo. The two of them had become so close and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I can't even, even imagine what it had done to him. Well, so, I mean, what's going to happen now? We haven't found any way out and we have no idea if help's going to come. <laughs> it's and like... No more the prince just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best and get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. This is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> in fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization and violence. As society grows, so does its preservation. In which case is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon angel pretty pudgy pin princess. Huh? Huh? Here we go. Make it a drill shop owner, the bunny ear, my Amazon cat girl, dog boy, robo justice and galactic king and and... What I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts, it, puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, since Taka's like... Kata, catatonic? Hmm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching for the school. Uh, searching the school, wait, what? Searching for the school, yes, we're gonna go looking for the school, cause, um, why not? I'm right, searching, right? well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then, then we, once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there may... Well, will be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Uh, there, there's no point looking for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. Me, so Genocide Jill. Okay. I didn't ex I, I expected Toku, but not Genocide Jill. Her. <laughs> Uh, nobody cleared for you. Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is amazing. Finally a place I can just be my murderer self. <laughs> Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus I have another battle to fight. 
The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those slenderous cliches. But you are a killer with a split personality. If she weren't here, my chance of survival would be would go up at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> So we're forced to eat breakfast with a murder, and after a much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking f around the school. Well, now I'm free to roam around. Let's see what there is upstairs. The third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Some room? That we're gonna check out, like right now. Oh! This is pretty cool. And it seems like the right place for Celeste. Let's see. A recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has hotelos, shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this! They even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expand. We've got a fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then... And we'll be adding to our collection as new issues come up. Too bad! Sorry, no can do! Even if I want to do, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, no, no. Anyway, that's it. For my... Why am I completely failing at reading all the time, guys? I'm supposed to know what he... What he just said? I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? It's a beat up old locker. It doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. One Akuma bottles. These are weird. What the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something, but clearly. So nobody's gonna point out that there's just a Monokuma thing in the. Okay. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here, or was it always a part of the school? I got a coin! That's what I'm trying to do. There's a table here. It's kinda similar to the desks in the classroom, but also kinda not. There's a copy of Otella here. I'm pretty bad at it, though. I would assume Celeste is gonna be, like, really good at gambling and, like, all kinds of games. Perhaps, because it's Celeste. More classrooms. Alrighty. Well, it's just a normal classroom, I guess. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, look who it is. So in the end. Doing those up here also barred with metal plates, not surprising, I suppose. So escape still looks impossible. But I'd better check out all the other rooms, metal plates again, just to be sure. Hey, it's it's the babe. Hello, babe. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Ugh. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. This is a pretty weird looking place, to be honest. 
So this is the art room. Jesus, that's huge. How many artists do they have in this school is the question. Well, normally, not right now. <laughs> At first glance, it looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. Well... To be honest, if you look at all the sculptures and stuff, it is a bit weird. Look at that one! I mean, I know there's a Monokuma, but look at that one. Hello! <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures or and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally, I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know what the... I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Joranbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Rome Poge makes. Joranbo's ability to express that movement of muscles is exquisite, and as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Ropogi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musuma series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seed rightly belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. There are paintings lining the walls. Is this really art? It just looks a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. It looks like kids' drawings, really. I'm just gonna check out the sculptures. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomish. It's a locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Okay, I can check it out, so I'm gonna check out the weird looking one. The statue of Neo. I've never really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. So that's um, how he actually looks. Not? Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Now just Monokuma pops out of the statue. I don't think there's anything else I need to look at, really. I I'm not sure. It seems like there's more things here than... Um, uh, nope, I'm, I'm gonna make my way out now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'd better look around a little more. What else is there to look at? Okay. Oh, there's a room over there. I didn't see that. Okay, let's uh, see what they have to offer. Oh, it's like a sculpting room. That's pretty cool. This the uh, repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. That's pretty cool, I guess. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. Well, obviously, what else could they be? <laughs> or killing people in this school, you know? Else makes sense that way. A dolly, they must use it to move all these statues around. Well, let's take a look at that photo then. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture, but as I stretch out my hand to pick it up, Almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they use? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Interesting. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't there at home. It wasn't here at home. Speak. But there was no time to find an answer. All these questions floating around my head were quickly drowned by. 
da da da. That's mine. Give it back. Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had, the answers evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living their school life. It's like the ripped page right out of the book of Yao. What's going on with that picture, do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. You shouldn't. I mean, I think he clearly dropped it on purpose. To just confuse us a little more. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna give us the wrong idea, because... Yeah. Well, the physics lab is over there. Wait, I should probably talk to Kyoko about this. Kyoko, baby. It would seem... Oh. Ugh. We can't. I suppose I'll be talking to them later, then. Let's, uh... Dude, what's with this dark-ass hallway? The room is pretty weird. Alright. Oh, Jesus. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Oh, it's a camera. A cute little camera. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show all the others later. Hey, Taka. Don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Why is he here? Like, I feel like somebody like him wouldn't even bother to go to the dining hall, nor would he bother to look around right now. This machine has obviously had some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Oh! That actually, like, it didn't really scare me that much, but it startled me a little. Wh what? Well, you wanna do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope Speak. The ultimate physicist. Oh no, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Uh, time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay, then let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Monda for sure! Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Huh? You sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But with the this, this calm, blading gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. This huge thing is an air purifier and more than that. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering? God damn you. So you can look down here too? Or you can just look back there. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. More coins! Yay! Okay, so do I have to press here then? Where does one press? What is it? Ah. Why does it keep going there when this thing is supposed to react? Okay, so over here. Oh, 
was looking at the door. That's what it was. Wait, there's something up there. Oh, camera. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Wait, what? It's another room. I thought it would be going out. Oh, look who it is! This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formal... formal dehyde is most unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! It's so tempting! Uh -huh. I wanna just dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. This just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Oh, and we went back to the dining hall without... Thank you. This uh, saved my life. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Hina! I tried talking to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to fur mm. burst. Mm. Miss Anahina is... Uh, Anahina, what did I... Mm. I can't... <laughs> Miss Asahina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey! You of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyways, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides, by you. <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did he convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard. Stay away from her. Stay away from her, Finn. Uh, um. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Talked about boobs. Anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. Well, guys, I think before this whole conversation starts, we should probably end this video here, because it's been pretty long. And I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, bye, sugar, and in and out.